Breaking news. Gerald Butt's new company just received a sole source contract from the federal government totaling nearly $200,000 Canadian. And only the Rebel is bringing you all the details. Uh, so we don't think that, we think that the oil sands have been expanded too rapidly uh, uh, without a serious plan for environmental remediation in the first place. So that's why we don't think it's up to us to decide whether there should be another, another route for a pipeline. Because um, the real alternative is not an alternative route, it's an alternative economy. That video, of course, is Justin Trudeau's best friend, former chief advisor and now current campaign worker, Gerald Butts, way back when he was with the World Wildlife Fund in a rare moment of complete and total honesty about how the Liberals truly feel about Canada's oil and gas sector. According to Butts, it just shouldn't exist at all. Which now begs the question, why is Gerald Butts' new employer getting a $150,000 U.S. sole source contract from the Canadian government to provide expertise on the energy sector? Let's go back a little, though. Butts joined the Eurasia Group shortly after he resigned in disgrace amidst the SNC-Lavalin scandal. That's the scandal where Justin Trudeau was just found guilty of his second ethics violation while in office for putting unlawful pressure on Jody Wilson-Raybould, Canada's first Aboriginal female Attorney General, to cut a sweetheart deal with the corrupt Quebec-based company for deferred prosecution. Butts has since then quietly rejoined the federal liberal campaign. But despite Butts being elbows deep in an ethics scandal, and despite Butts also being part of the official liberal war room, and despite Butts saying many, many times over that oil and gas should be phased out altogether, Gerald Butts' brand new New York-based employer just got a $200,000 Canadian or $150,000 U.S. sole source contract from Natural Resources Canada to give advice on energy markets. Here are the full details from the Government of Canada procurement website of the sole source contract we uncovered just this morning. The requirements for the contract, number three must have at least seven years of experience related to policy, energy, and natural resources, specifically the identification of regulatory and policy risks in the context of carbon and environmental policy, supply disruption issues, market access, oil prices, and supply and demand fundamentals in North America and globally. And number four, must have demonstrable expertise in trade and fiscal policy through an established intelligence network, i.e. ready access to and regular interactions with senior decision makers comprised of government officials, energy industry, CEOs, executives, and industry insiders in North America and other leading energy producing countries. In my opinion, this contract reads as though it was written specifically for Gerald Butts or a company directly connected to Gerald Butts. Oh, and about expertise in trade and fiscal policy? Well, we'll get back to that in just a minute. But first, why was no one else allowed to be part of the bid process for this contract? Well, it's right here under Section 6D. According to the federal government, only one person is capable of performing the work. Apparently, the Prime Minister's best friend, former chief advisor, and current campaign worker is the only guy for the job. What a happy coincidence. And the total cost of the contract, as I said earlier, is here under Section 9. Estimated cost. The estimated maximum value of the contract for one year is $149,940 US dollars. Taxes not applicable. And here is how we know it went to Gerald Butts' new company, hand-selected by the Liberal government without any competition from anyone else in the entire country. Section 10. Name and address of the proposed contractor. Eurasia Group, 149 Fifth Avenue, 15th Floor, New York, New York, 10010. Now let's talk about some of Gerald Butt's so-called expertise in energy market analysis, shall we? He was the architect of the Ontario Green Energy Act from the Toronto Star of all places back in 2008. The man they call 
the brains of the operation is leaving Queen's Park. Gerald Butts, Principal Secretary to Premier Dalton McGuinty and policy architect of the Liberal government since 2003, is calling it quits. Now, these policies, authored by Butts, resulted in a 100 to 150 percent rise in the price of residential electricity for Ontarians when, thanks to the advice of the likes of Gerald Butts, the province phased out coal-fired electricity generation altogether. This is from Global News. Since 2006, the price Ontarians pay for off-peak electricity has gone from 3.5 to 8.7 cents per kilowatt hour, an increase of nearly 150 percent. And then Gerald Butts brought his so-called expertise to the federal level when he became the chief advisor to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, which then resulted in a similar catastrophe in the Western energy sector. From the Financial Post from just last week, the $30 billion exodus, foreign oil firms keep bailing on Canada's energy sector. The drumbeat of exits, rare for such a stable oil producing country, adds an extra layer of gloom for an industry that accounts for about a fifth of Canada's exports. So under the tutelage and advice of Gerald Butts, $30 billion of oil and gas investment fled the nation, devastating Alberta, but according to that sole source contract, Butts, or at least the company he is connected with, has, quote, demonstrable expertise in trade and fiscal policy. There's only one man for the job, folks. Now, if that's what expertise looks like, I don't want to see failure. And while Canadian veterans are asking for more than the Liberals can give them, the Liberals can give their friends a $200,000 contract. If you're a Liberal, it pays to have friends in high places. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunry. At The Rebel, we do investigative journalism you won't see done by the mainstream media. We are fiercely independent, and because of that, we won't take a penny from the federal government. We rely on support from viewers like you. One of the best ways to help us is through a subscription to our premium content. It's only 8 bucks a month to subscribe, and you get access to exclusive paywalled shows and analysis you won't see anywhere else.